we all need clean water. That's what drives us at the Erosion Control Technology Council. Our main objective is to promote solutions that protect water quality. The products that our directing members manufacture are designed to keep soil where it belongs, on site, and not in our rivers, lakes, and streams. Proper installation of sediment control products is always critical to performance and overall effectiveness in keeping that soil on site. One of the important tools available in the efforts to protect water quality are sediment retention fiber rolls. Also known as SRFRs, wattles, or simply fiber rolls. So what are sediment retention fiber rolls? Fiber rolls are available as prefabricated units constructed into tubular configurations and comprised of a variety of natural filler material. Fiber rolls come encased in photo or biodegradable netting and in sizes typically ranging from six inches all the way to 20 inches in diameter. Functional life is typically one to three years, but can vary based on factors such as material composition, environmental factors, and other site-specific conditions. SRFRs offer many advantages in a variety of applications. Once installed, fiber rolls reduce flow velocity, intercept runoff, and remove sediment from polluted waters. Fiber rolls are primarily used in the following applications. Perimeter protection, slope interruption, and channel protection. So let's talk about perimeter protection first. In perimeter protection applications, SRFRs act as a ponding device to keep sediment-laden water from leaving the site. Sediment collects behind the unit and within the unit itself. Large diameter fiber rolls are sometimes used when more sediment holding capacity is required, often replacing silt fence. SRFRs are also frequently used for inlet and stockpile protection applications. Slope interruption. Installed on slope contours, fiber rolls act as a slope interrupter, effectively reducing the length of the slope and slowing the velocity of runoff. Temporary ponding behind SRFRs increases infiltration, reduces runoff, and allows seed and sediment to drop out of suspension, creating an enhanced seedbed. That ponded water is then released through the SRFR at a slower, steady rate. Now, it should be noted that this picture also illustrates the maintenance issues associated with a lack of an appropriate cover practice. Channel protection. When installed across the flow in a channel application, Fiber rolls serve to decrease the energy gradient of the channel, trapping sediment upstream of the installation and within the fiber roll itself. Let's move on to actual installation. For a typical SRFR installation, ensure that you prepare the site by removing any debris or obstructions and minimizing disturbances so you are starting with a smooth, even ground surface. Once you have a well-prepped area, generally there are two main methods of fiber roll installation. Fiber rolls can be installed using the stake method or the optional lashed method. The stake method is the more common of the two. With this method, fiber rolls are secured with stakes or pins along the length of the unit. See specific manufacturer recommendations or refer to the ECTC installation guidelines. Alternatively, fiber rolls can be installed using the optional lashed technique. Also covered in the ECTC guidelines, the lashed method uses rope and stakes and requires no trenching. When using the lashed method, stakes are driven in halfway at two foot staggered spacing on either side of the SRFR. Then, rope is laced back and forth over the roll secured at each stake with a half hitch and an optional second wrap. You want to get the rope as low on the stake and tight to the roll as possible. Finally, the stakes are driven in the rest of the way, cinching the SRFR down tightly. A quick note about trenching. Some fiber roll installations may require an anchor trench. To install, excavate the trench along the area where the fiber rolls are to be placed. The width of the anchor trench should accommodate the size of the roll and is typically one to three inches deep. When digging, place soil on the upslope side of the roll and be sure to compact well. Regardless of the method used, properly installed fiber rolls must ensure intimate contact with the soil surface along the entire length of the unit. Installation on slope. When installing on a slope, it is critical that fiber rolls are installed parallel to slope contour and perpendicular to expected water flow. Place and secure the fiber rolls per manufacturer's recommendations. Generally, a one-foot overlap directed up gradient is recommended for most products. 
Stakes should be driven in vertically, perpendicular to a horizontal ground plane, and on a slope, the terminal ends of the fiber roll should be turned 45 degrees upslope. ECTC provides spacing equations and suggested spacing for slopes based upon gradient. Visit ectc.org for more information. Installation in a channel. For channel applications, fiber rolls should be placed across the width of the channel and perpendicular to the direction of flow. The SRFR must be installed sufficiently up the channel banks to prevent flanking or concentrated flow around the terminal ends. Determine where the fiber rolls will be placed based on manufacturer's or ECTC guidelines. You can always find spacing equations for channels on the ECTC website. Now, depending on your site, fiber rolls can also be used in conjunction with both rolled erosion control products and hydraulic erosion control products. When using fiber rolls in conjunction with hydraulic erosion control products, the fiber rolls are installed before anything is sprayed on the site. And once fiber rolls are installed, apply the hydro mulch right on top the fiber roll installation. When applying the hydro mulch, you are looking for 100% coverage. You should be spraying onto the installation from multiple angles. And as always, ensure that you are following the manufacturer's recommended application rates and instructions. Now, when fiber rolls are used with rolled erosion control products, the very first step is to perform subgrade preparation and any trenching if required. The RECP is then installed onto the prepared soil. With the blanket installed, the fiber rolls can then be placed and secured directly on top. Remember with this and any fiber roll installation, it is important that no gaps exist between the fiber roll and subgrade or the fiber roll and the blanket. When installed and used correctly, sediment retention fiber rolls are a very useful and valuable BMP, providing effective sediment, inlet, and perimeter control for your construction site. And if you have any questions, please feel free to visit ectc.org. Thanks for watching and best of luck with your project.